Okay, welcome back Jebel Ali. In this video we are going to begin programming our virtual teacher. And in the first tutorial we are going to make our virtual teacher talk. Now, this part is very, very important. You must make sure you are clicked on your teacher sprite, which is just down here. Okay, you must, must, must make sure you are clicked on your teacher sprite. Okay, so why clicked on my sprite and now I'm going to go to the code area which is just here. So click on the tab and your block palette will be displayed here with a scroll bar and you can scroll through all the different blocks available in Scratch or you can click here to go to the different areas of the block palette. Okay, we will look through these as we go along. Now the first thing we need to do is Add our first block. Now the first block we will need is an event block. Now events are basically what starts your program code running. Okay so we go to events and the first event block we are going to use is the when green flag is clicked. Now you can see that you click and hold and drag and drop your blocks onto the block area. Now the reason why we're using the green flag is because of this. This is basically when you click on the green flag Whatever blocks are connected to your green flag will run, okay? And there are a number of blocks that we are going to add. Now, if you want to zoom in on your block area, you can click here and it will make your blocks a little bit larger. And then you can zoom out if you are running out of space. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in so I can see my blocks. So basically, when my green flag is clicked, I want my virtual teacher to begin talking. Now the talking block or the output block is going to output or display some text above my virtual teacher. So I'm going to go now to the looks block. So the looks blocks are here. So I click on looks and my very first look block is called the say for seconds block. Okay. So if I drag and drop my say for seconds block onto my block area. I'm not going to attach it yet because I'm going to edit these sections. Where you see a white area here, it means you can edit them. So if you click in there, you could say, hello everyone. And this block section here is the number of seconds it will be displayed on the screen. So I'm going to change that to four and I'm going to join that to my green flag. Okay, notice it's joined and when I drag my green flag, my say block also moves. Now if I want to detach my say block, I can drag it away like that and I can drag and drop it here if I want to remove it. But I'm not going to, I'm going to rejoin it to my green flag. And now when I press my green flag, my code starts at the top here and goes downwards. So it will follow the next block and it will say, hello everyone. Okay, now... Notice it said it for four seconds and disappeared. Okay, now I'm going to add another say block. Notice the difference, you've got say hello and say hello for two seconds. The difference is this one will not disappear after two seconds. Okay, so I'm, but I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to use my say hello for two seconds again and I'm going to say, instead of hello, I'm going to say welcome to my virtual classroom okay and I'm just going to move that across and join that to my first say block and I'm going to change the length of time because it's a little bit longer I'm going to change it to six seconds now notice if I want to delete this block it's a bit like Lego you need to drag the first block away and then you can remove this the block you want to remove but I'm not going to I'm going to join them all back together again remember when I Click on the green flag, my first code that will run will be this one, followed by this block. Okay, now I click on my green flag, it says hello everyone for four seconds, then moves to my second block, and it says welcome to my virtual classroom for six seconds. And that is how you use the say blocks to get your virtual teacher to start communicating using the output block or the say block. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. So get your virtual character to say a couple of sentences and, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.